Hey everybody, it's Gamma Lad. Welcome to another Summer Let's Play. Well, uh, Summer Let's Play, not another one, but you know what I mean. So, what game am I Let's Playing? Well, if this doesn't give it off, then I don't know what does. Um, if you haven't guessed, we're just gonna wait for the title to pop up then. As you can see, it's a Nick game. I don't know how often other Let's Played. This is made, this game was also made by the late THQ. Uh, rest in peace, THQ. You made awesome games for my. You made awesome games for when I was younger. Made by Renderware, I think. And this should be the one to give it off. Are you ready, kids? That's right. My next let's play is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yes. So let's pr start now. We'll start a new game. Yes, I want to save my file. That is my test file up there, not done with it, but I'm far enough along to feel comfortable starting a new Let's Play. So, let's get this started. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Whoop. Hey, hello. What do you think you're doing? No, 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 wait, wait, but I'm your master! I made you! No, no, oh my good China! And Plankton's stupidity leads us off on our adventure in this new game. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon, or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. It's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with. Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Your bikini bottom stinks. Well, that was subtle. More bubbles. So after that intro, we now have an idea of what's going on in this yeah, game. Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Ow! 
What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. So as you can see, we are in a bit of a tutorial stage. The time we're TV, see what's on. News. Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror. So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. All right, so we have to solve this robot problem. So, as you can see, we are going to come in here and we'll have a letter from a Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. So you can see these things around here are shiny objects. They are the, well, currency of this game. Not really currency, well, to keep points, I guess, but these shiny objects are used to open shortcuts, doors, this is how you have to use the camera angle, use the C-Stick. If you're playing the PS2 or the Xbox version, I'm not really sure how, since this is a multi-plat. Um, control may be different from console to console, obviously. But well, now we have 60. Let's go over here to SpongeBob's bedroom. SpongeBob may jump by pressing the A button. Pressing the A button while SpongeBob's in midair will cause him to double jump for an extra height. But SpongeBob can only double jump once per jump. So if you double press the A button, you can double jump and get more shiny objects. Yes. And over here we have this is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. Ew. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces, like this. I'll settle. Once SpongeBob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area over again. SpongeBob may get back underwear he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. SpongeBob starts out by wearing three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which is found will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three pairs at a time. SpongeBob can check how many pairs of underwear he has by pressing the Z button. So your health in this game is underwear. In the SpongeBob game before the SpongeBob SquarePants Adventures of the Flying Dutchman, you had pairs of pants as your health. So you had like five pairs of pants, and your last pair is your underwear. So quite weird. As you can come in here, this will tell you about you know the different buttons, the Z button to display your objects. This will tell you how to do the, the regular spin attack, which is pressing the B button. What you want to do is attack robots with this, or attack tiki's. You see like this. Tiki's will have a lot of shiny objects in them. There's many different types of tiki's. As you can see, we have floating ones. And it's tell you how to do the bubble bounce by pressing the X button while midair. But really, it's a lot easier to spin attack these guys. So let's get rid of these. More shiny objects. Bubble bash to attack these and get buttons. All right. Making some good progress in this tutorial. Push, push, push. That's a shiny object up there. Nope, I guess I can't reach it. How tragic. Uh, ball, what are you doing? Go home. You're drunk. Well, technically the ball is home, but still. Ball, ball, ball. What are you doing? Ball, stop, stop. Okay, okay. There you go, yes. Now we have a time limit once we hit that button to get that sock up there. Okay, I don't care what the start button. Racing my time. So what you want to do here is get that sock. This is one of Patrick's socks. Not my sock. My name is Patrick, but it's not one of my socks. 
you would take these socks to Patrick once you get 10 of them to get a special reward. There's a total of 80 in this whole game, so yeah. And coming in here, this is a golden spatula. The golden spatula is needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob needs will need to collect many gold spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the, of the rampaging robots. As you can see, we now have our first golden spatula. Now that we have our first golden spatula, we, may, we can now leave SpongeBob's house and go out into the rest of Bikini Bottom to see what war-torn Bikini Bottom looks like from the robot attack. Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas in your dreams. You've got a deal. So as we as we know, Plankton is the one who's behind all this mess. But unbeknownst to everyone, it's actually robot they don't know what's going on. The Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking. But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest. So, what Mr. Krabs does in this game, he will sell you golden spatulas for shine, for shine sprites, for shiny objects. You need, the, you need 3,000 shiny objects for your first golden spatula. After each one you buy, the price will increase by a certain amount. Let's go visit, let's go visit Squidward. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, move to another town. Ha, <laughs> I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. What you want to do is do exactly as he said. Jump around like an idiot, but you want to destroy everything in the process. Kill two birds with one stone. By destroying everything, you get a sock. Right over there. See? Here we go. Sock. If you keep jumping around and annoying Squidward, he will eventually crack. Eventually. Ooh. Nope. Okay, oh, here we go. Okay, okay, just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Basically, annoying Squidward, you get a golden spatula. Now, in this first part, I'm going to get all the golden spatulas I can get in Bikini Bottom right now. In the next episode, we will be tackling on the actual levels. So, as you can see... I better make this quick because we're already up to 14 minutes. I don't want this video to go too long. We have these different areas over here. Here's Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. 
For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. So there is a there are socks hidden throughout the entire game. There's a total of eighty for um, H um, golden spatulas. And if you destroy Patrick's couch, you get another sock. Play some music and let's get out of here. Go back to the surface. Now before I wrap this video up, I'm going to tell you how to get an extra piece of health early off into the game and one more golden spatula. What you want to do here is bubble bash this one. To make those two platforms appear, you have 40 seconds to get that golden spatula. That's plenty of time, and you press the X button to activate that. Okay, don't go away, Fatmi. No, 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 hey, 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 come back, come back. There we go. Now, on top of Squidward's house is a pair of golden underwear. And coming over this way, we are now three shine, shine sprites. Ah, oh, bonus patch is richer. I don't know why I keep saying shine sprites. I'm not playing Super Mario Sunshine. So, next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we'll be going off to the first level of Jellyfish Fields. So, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below what you think, and be sure to ch check out my other videos. Until next time, everyone, this is Gamma Lad, as always, signing off.